Hello there. I've been getting requests to do a one marker and or one watercolour challenge. And, I don't know, sounded like a bit of fun, so I've decided to participate. These are my White Knights watercolours. Um, I thought I'd use them. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to randomly pick a watercolour. This is, I'm sorry if this is bothering anyone's OCD, I just couldn't be bothered to be fussy about it. Because I, unfortunately, do not actually have a face. I just have these hands. I don't have a face, so I can't really show you guys, um, like, me blindfolding myself and picking it out and doing all that. We're just going to go to random.org and we're going to get a random number. Okay, cool. So, got 28 pounds here. Whatever number I'm given by random.org, I'll count, like, through the pans. I'll go, like, this way, you know? Like, like the way that we read. Okay, cool. Okay, here we are at random.org, and I've got to put in that I have 28 pans. Please work. Thank you. 28. And we will generate a random number. Four. Ooh, okay. I can do I can do four. Four sounds good. Now we're back here. So we got number four, so that's one, two, three, four. We got is the camera gonna focus? There we go. I wrote the um name on the pan because I've thought that would be useful when I got these. Um, so it's Titian Red. I'm assuming that's how you say it. It could be Titian. I don't know. But it looks pretty nice. I don't think I actually usually use this red. It's a lot... Um, see, it's not going to focus now. It's a lot more of a muted kind of warm red. I quite like it actually. It's not quite as orange as the camera is picking it up, but that's okay. Um, this is actually looks really, really orange on camera, but it's not that orange in real life. It almost is, but it's not. Okay, so probably got to sketch something now so that I can use this because I decided to do the sketch afterwards. I'm sorry. I just, I like to theme my drawings around the color I'm using. Okay, cool. So I will see you on the other side. Bye. Handing over to voiceover Jess now. Yeah! Okay, it's a few days later and I'm finally recording the voiceover for this. So, um, I'll quickly mention the materials that I used. So I used a White Knight's watercolour in the colour Titian Red, or Titian Red, I'm not sure. I did check the pronunciation on Google, but that was a couple days ago, so I could be completely wrong about that. Um, I used, I believe, some Strathmore 300 GSM cold press watercolour paper that I personally cut down to a 5 by 8 inch sheet. Um, and I used a mechanical pencil, a kneaded eraser, that's for the sketching, and a regular Bic ballpoint pen for the inking. Um, I just, I've been using ballpoint pens recently because they, I don't know, they look a lot less clean than a fine liner, which I really like, or I'm liking it right now. Sometimes I like to do clean line art and then sometimes I prefer the messier kind of line art. Um, okay, so let's talk a bit about the one certain thing challenge. So the first time that I heard out the that I heard about this, I was watching I think it was Bailey J do the one marker challenge. And I was like, oh that's a cool idea. And that was back before I used watercolours. That was back when I was using markers, which was a long time ago. Um and I I think it inspired me to get my first Copic because I was like, yeah no I can I can totally do a good a good drawing with just one marker and it's true you can um obviously i don't use markers anymore that well not not regularly i much prefer watercolor um i find markers to be quite limiting um but if they're what you enjoy using then all the more power to you um okay so 
I've been getting a lot of requests to do this challenge. I'm not entirely certain why. Uh, people just seem to be really interested in me doing the challenge and they've been saying either, you know, do the one marker challenge or do a one watercolor challenge. And I just sort of looked at that and I was like, yeah, okay. So on Sunday afternoon, it's now Thursday, uh, I was thinking like, hey, maybe I should put together an easy video, you know, a one marker challenge. That sounds, that sounds easy. Sorry, one watercolor challenge. That sounds easy. Because I was thinking like, oh, Bailey J, you know, she just did that little, little drawing on um, a piece of very small paper and it was just like a portrait of this pretty girl with like red hair um, and I think the other one marker challenges that I've seen they've also been quite similar they've just been a female maybe a, uh, a head and a torso and so that's sort of what I was thinking along the lines of um, I was like yeah no that'll that'll be easy super easy to throw together and then it came to me having to actually sketch something and I was like you know what I'm gonna do a full body pose with a full background and I'm going to suffer <laughs> um, yeah something just overcame me and I was like I don't want to do what everybody else has done because no offense to those people their artwork were their artworks were beautiful but I felt like I really wanted to try this out on something that was a lot more serious than uh, something quite small and not quick, like something that I could put a little more heart and soul into. So I was inspired by the actual color to uh, sort of listen to some of Ed Sheeran and I wound up listening to his one of his earlier albums, which was the Plus album or the Edition album that everybody adored. And that was, I believe, the one that brought him to fame. And that was where I first heard about him. And I, I loved that album. I still do. So I was listening to that while I was uh, drawing this. And it really did make me think of like, sort of, I don't know, being happy but being poor, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know, I, that's just sort of what I thought about. So I decided to just do this happy girl in some probably thrifted clothes and in a really downtrodden apartment. And she's smiling because sometimes you don't need money to make you happy. Although I will admit financial security is a very useful thing to have. Um, don't give up school or your day job. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just sort of felt like doing this and I'm really happy with the results. I'm very happy with how it looks. It's very aesthetically pleasing for me. Although we have to remember that sometimes this, you know, this is far more important than an aesthetic. This can be a real problem for some people having to live in these areas because there are nice people in these areas, but there can also be some sort of sketchy people in these areas. Um, yes, so... What was I saying? I got interrupted. Ah, yes. So I looked up some reference images uh, to sort of take inspiration from. I didn't directly copy anything. I just sort of um, got a vague idea of what I liked uh, in regards to stairs. And drawing these stairs was nearly the death of me. I should have talked about this when I was sketching. But oh my goodness, I had to speed up the sketching footage so much just so that I could actually survive the whole process um oh no not so that i could survive what am i talking about just so that you guys wouldn't have to um sort of suffer through the whole process because i barely survived it okay so let's talk about the coloring method because that's sort of what we're here for um so first i did a super duper light wash of the color it's a very burnt orange i really like it um over the entirety of the painting and that way everything will have that sort of tint to it even if I decided to leave it white. Um, I felt like that was just a a good thing that I wanted to try out, I don't know. Um, 
I really like using just one watercolor for pieces sometimes, and usually I just do them for studies, like realistic, more, more realistic looking studies, rather than my actual artwork, um, because that's sort of what value studies are good for, you know? Uh, but I really liked incorporating it into my own artwork and sort of seeing what I could do with just the one watercolor. So this was a process of really just building up layers and one thing that I realized very quickly was I was going to have to utilize my ballpoint pen a lot more than I realized um, because if you layer more and more of one color over and like bring it to its darkest form, I mean look at that watercolor, that, that watercolor pan, that is how dark I could get this paint. That's technically a, a mid-tone sort of value, but it's also a very pure saturation. So if I have something that is very purely saturated, it's going to draw more attention to itself and it's not going to look so much like a shadow. It's going to look more like it's meant to stand out. So it's going to confuse the eye a little bit. So I did use my ballpoint pen ballpoint pen for a lot of cross hatching and there we go I'm doing it now a lot of cross hatching and shading um I apologize to those who might think that I'm doing the challenge wrong to be honest I did this for fun I don't agree with following strict rules for art challenges because art is meant to be a bit of fun just just chill just chill um if you'd like to see me attempt <laughs> to do a one watercolor challenge where I don't use any inking and any pencil sketching, it's not going to happen because that's not how I do my artwork. Um, and that's that would honestly drive me insane. I would probably get really, really angry and I would not enjoy it at all. And you guys probably wouldn't enjoy watching it either. Um, yeah, I don't know. I shouldn't rant about this stuff because it's just, it's kind of null and void. People will say what they want to say, but I'm I've seen how much sort of ridicule other artists get because they didn't do a challenge a certain way. And yeah, I think that's really sad. So if you're just going to post a hate comment, just go ahead, do the thing, and then just leave. Get on with your life. Have a nice life. But I hope that the majority of the people watching this are actually enjoying it. And hey, maybe you learned a little something about values and saturation. I would still really like to do a video on color theory. A lot of people have asked me to do that and I have worked out some cheats when it comes to color theory, so I think I could do that. But some of the, the videos I want to do, like a color theory video and a how I use watercolor video, are going to take a little more production than a regular speed paint or a one marker watercolor challenge. So one marker or watercolor challenge. <laughs> So that's why I haven't really gotten around to them because they're a little more time consuming and that's time that I don't necessarily have right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. I do really like this piece and I've stuck it in my sketchbook for now. So be on the lookout for my next sketchbook tour. <laughs> um, I'm not actually sure when that's going to come. I'm really working very hard on filling up my sketchbook and it's almost full but it might still be about a month away because I don't want to fill it that quickly. I want it to actually last. Like, I paid $30 for it. I want it to last. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So now I'm having a lot of fun and adding some nice and saturated shades because I just, I really love how this color looks. I love how it looks when it's uh, watered down and when it's sort of more saturated as well. Um... I'm really glad that I did this challenge too because I don't usually use this color. This color has been sort of just stored away. I don't have it in my palette because it's got multiple pigments. Yeah, can't talk today because it's got multiple pigments in it. So therefore it's, if I were to mix it with other colors, it would look a little more muddy and not quite as nice and clear. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I'm, I don't know, I really, really like this challenge. Maybe I'll have to do this again with some of my other colors that I don't use quite as much. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. And let me know if you have any other video ideas, because that's really where I'm getting my ideas from. Because all I can really do is speed paints. Um, 
and that's that's really the only idea that I have. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch of art challenges, but to be honest, I don't want to do too many because I feel like that's a bit clickbaity. No offense to the artists that seem to like doing them. I I just feel like it's a bit clickbaity for me. I try to avoid clickbait. I try to be as honest as I possibly can be. Um, yeah. I don't know. I wound up making this video a lot longer than usual. It actually, right now, it's about 18 minutes, and I'm used to doing a 10 minute video just because I had so much footage. Because this actually took me maybe five hours to paint um, in total. Okay, so now we're peeling off the masking tape, and I'm trying to readjust the camera so you guys can see because. This was so satisfying, it's so nice to just peel off the tape and you're just like peeling away all of your problems with it. It's it's great. Oh look at that clean line. Oh yeah. That's that's good. That's really good. So I'm planning to uh edit this photo in my computer photo <laughs> artwork on my computer and hopefully put it into my Redbubble store and I thought I'd just mention again like I do have a Redbubble store if you'd like to support me by going and taking a look at my store maybe sharing it with a friend who might be interested giving me a follow liking some of the artworks that I've put up you might even like to actually purchase something I'm not going to you know explicitly say like oh go buy something because that's just rude but yeah, no, you just take a look, see if you like anything. And if there are any of my artworks that you've seen on my Instagram or my YouTube that you would like available on my Redbubble but are not currently available, then feel free to just DM me through Instagram and I will fix that up right away. Um, yeah, I, would, I already appreciate the support so far through YouTube. I cannot believe how many people are willing to support me here. Um, YouTube, however, is being a bit funny, and I'm not actually earning money from YouTube, just in case anyone was curious. But hopefully that'll change someday. Um, yeah, so now I'm just signing the piece. I'm very happy with this piece. I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I hope that you guys are too. I'm sorry that I'm not quite as uh, bright and bubbly today as I have been in previous videos, but I hope you were able to enjoy it all the same. And... Yeah, I hope you have a great night. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, oh, look, there's the the fancy camera angles that I'm attempting to do. I'm learning to zoom in as well. I hope you noticed that, because that was, that was a real chore to get that working and get the camera in focus. Oh yeah, that was terrible. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. I am trying to do weekly uploads, but please don't hold me to it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.